Novi, Michigan, and Novi is for families. And in this video, we're gonna cover a couple of the family fun activities that we love. Some are gonna be indoors, some are gonna be outdoors, some easygoing, some a bit more exciting. And if you're not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we are dropping great videos every single week. My name is Mike Perna. I'm a local real estate agent here in and around Novi, Michigan. And we would be honored to get the call to help you and your family find your next home. Or if you're considering selling your current home, providing a no cost obligation equity assessment. Also scope out our over 22 200 reviews by Googling Michael Perna Real Estate and shoot us a call at 248 221 2777. Now, let's start out with the Novi Public Library, which is super unusual. I know the word library, who's heard that word in the last 20 years in this whole digital era or whatever, but I'm still a big fan of libraries for a lot of reasons. Of course, you can go and check out some books to read with the kids, but this library has so much more to offer. So they've got some cultural information and classes, some recreational programs for all ages. In fact, if you scope out their website, they've got separate activity calendars for both adults, teens, and children. The IQ Makerspace. This place you can go and try a couple of different hobbies you might not be able to try at home. They've got 3D printers, laser engraving, t-shirt heat presses, embroidery, and a lot more. You can do some DIY stuff or you can go to a supervised activity depending on what you want to do, your skill level, your knowledge level, and whatever the kids want to try. But definitely a place to check out. Next up, I've got the Novi Ice Arena located right here off of Novi Road. If you love hockey, they've got several teams for people of all ages, including the adult ones like ourselves. Or if you want to learn ice skate if you're a first time or you're a beginner, they've got lessons. The Novi Ice Arena is also enclosed, so it's open year round. It was opened in 1998 and is being operated by the city of Novi and has two NHL regulation size rinks. Check out their website for the schedules of activities, classes, and teams, the link below. Go ahead and pay them a visit if you're into skating. This place is actually a lot of fun. Next up, I've got the Michigan State University's Tollgate Farms. This is a beautiful 160 acre piece of land located on the north side of 12 Mile Road and is managed and operated by Michigan State University to offer experimental and educational programs for the community. It's open to the public to visit and they have all kinds of workshops where you can learn about wildlife, farming, beekeeping, gardening, and a lot more. During the summer, they've got different themed camps for kids and teens and as well, they've got a wild winter camp with both two and five day options. Kids are gonna go on on hay rides, campers learn how to identify a maple tree, how to tap a tree, and then explore the process of how to turn sap into actual maple syrup. There are sheeps and ducks and goats and rabbits and chickens, and the kids will also learn how to harvest eggs properly from a chicken coop. Starting in spring and going through fall, they also have night hikes, which are guided group hikes after the sun goes down. They have maple fest in the spring, where you can go and learn how maple syrup is made, a pumpkin fest in the fall with a lot of kid activities, and then holiday lights in December, and a lot more. On to bowling. Novi Bowl is a great spot to have some good times with your family or friends. And I got to stop here and just tell a little bit of a Christmas story about my brother-in-law pertaining to bowling. So he's kind of an athletic guy. He likes squash and like some other athletics. My sister is too. But for Christmas, I wanted to introduce him. He's from England. He's from England. He's got the British accent and everything. I wanted to introduce him to the American pastime of bowling, being a sports guy himself. What I did was I ordered the heaviest bowling ball I could get in time because I like had the idea way too last minute. It was a 14 bomb bowling ball that I gave to him. Why I love this gift so much is because them coming from abroad to travel here and then go back, especially with a kid, there's only a certain amount of weight that you can pack. So the 14 pounds was really, really offsetting to their like weight limits for their luggage. And he was trying so hard to like fit it into the luggage and had a difficult time with the conversation of not being able to take the bowling ball. It was like the best prank of the year for me. Anyway, back to Novi Bowl. So Novi Bowl has a full menu with appetizers, sandwiches, pizza, burgers, and salad, which I would guess is probably Probably their worst selling item because who orders a salad at a bowling alley? I mean, if you've ever seen The Big Lebowski, nobody has had a salad at a bowling alley. Like, no judgment, just only questions. Tuesdays and Thursdays, they also have a flat all you can bowl rate too, and they've also got an arcade pool tables and it's a great place that's been very near and dear to my heart, especially as it's been locally owned and operated since 1978. I remember going there as a kid growing up and it was so much fun to have a good night of bowling with family and friends, always fun. And real quick, before we continue, be sure to hit the like button, help the YouTube algorithm get this video out to more people, subscribe to the channel to get notified when videos like these are posted. Novi Suburban Collection Showplace, which used to be the Quicken Collection or some other name and replaced the good old Novi Expo, which is now home to a Carvana Tower of Cars. 
It's like going to a vending machine, but for cars. And I clearly get distracted easily. Back to the Suburban Showplace. So we added this to the list because throughout the year, they've got so many events that are unique to here. The Michigan State Fair comes through every year with acrobats, shows, elephants, horses, and far too much sugary candy in all their food. Jurassic Quest with over 100 animatronic dinosaurs. The Motor City Comic Con, which is one of my favorite events of the year. I never miss it. And last year they had the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. William Shatner, come and sign autographs, which I love, by the way. I have my William Shatner autograph. Do you have yours? Because I have mine. The Novi Home Show, which sounds absolutely terrible to me, but I'm sure it's a hit. People love this stuff, mostly because I don't like shopping, but I, I think I get the draw. And a snowmobile show, which sounds like a lot more fun than a home show, but a snowmobile show. I, I should like home shows. I'm a real estate agent for Pete's sake here. The venue itself is pretty massive and super easy access getting to it because it's right off of 96 and Novi Road. And actually the Suburban Showplace itself, we've rented out for larger company events that may or may not have included setting up cornhole in the parking lot, much to security's dismay. All right, let's go a little further north along Novi Road to Fountain Walk, which is right across from 12 Oaks Mall and it's newer. And the reason why I'm bringing it up is because there's a lot of activities you can do right here without having to drive all around Novi. So here's a map on the screen. You're gonna have all your green bits, which are retail and shopping, and then you've got your red ones, which are gonna be eateries and restaurants. Lots of them are chains, so I'm not even gonna bother getting into it. If you watch my videos, you know how I feel about chains. I love local businesses, so that's where we're gonna go. Then you've got the orange part for what is categorized as wellness businesses, and that makes me feel like skipping them. So we're just gonna keep on moving on. I'm sure they're great. And then you get the fun stuff. The blue units are where you wanna stay, in my opinion, right here. So you got the Nova Imagine Theater, which is really Michigan's best theater system by far, in my opinion. Paul Glantz, the Imagineer, I love the support as he is a fellow give where you live motto type of a person and was Salvation Army's Michigan Giver of the Year just a few years ago. The Novi Escape Room is right there as well. I made it out in 28 minutes and if anybody made it out in less time than that, go ahead and throw that in the comments and I am always down for a challenge. I'd love to do that one again. And right here is Putting Edge, which is an indoor putt-putt golf course. So again, open 12 months a year. I gotta love that. Back to the map right here, you can see X Golf, which is a golf simulation space where you can go on virtual golf courses. It's 18 holes, but without all the walking around. It also has food, AC, and drinks. Over in this corner, you've got Full Throttle Adrenaline Park, which has indoor go-karts and a VR gaming experience. Right here, there's Launch Trampoline Park with obstacle courses, arcade, food, and of course, you know, trampolines. And then right here in the middle is the Hub Stadium, which is their second location in the area. This is a really cool venue that has axe throwing, football bowling, or foaling, which is literally bowling, but with a football instead of a bowling ball, and curling. And when I say curling, I don't mean like you're going to a gym and like curling weights. I mean that game from the Winter Olympics with the two people with the brushes that try to guide whatever the heck that thing is called. It, it has a name, I'm sure, like into the, into the thing. It's like bocce ball, but on ice. We'll just go that way with it. The Hub also has a full restaurant, bar, and live music on the weekends. Definitely a place to check out. In the summer, scope out Lakeshore Park up at the south corner of Wald Lake. Novi itself has a ton of parks, but this is one of my favorites for a couple of reasons, starting with it's free, which is unusual for a lake park in this area. Most of them charge for entry. It was extensively renovated by the city of Novi about 15 years ago, and now has three pavilions, hiking trails, mountain biking, off-road paths designed for kids, walking only paths to avoid the mountain bikers, a library kiosk for books, two playgrounds, sports field, and a public beach. And FYI, this is not a beach with lifeguards. I wanna make sure that I'm clear on that one. You can swim, but I would advise not doing it alone and especially keep a keen eye on any children in there. No lifeguard, put that out there. Also, if you're an angst-filled teenager, there's 12 Oaks Mall to go walk around in for hours. No, I'm kidding. Angst-filled adults can go walk around the mall for hours as well. 12 Oaks in Novi has over 180 stores and is a great adventure to drag kids to who would rather be doing anything else. My parents used to torture my sister and I for hours, and I swear, we went into stores and just didn't buy anything just to extend the pain of being in the mall on a great summer day. Put it out there, mom, dad, you know. Next up is my golf go-to in the area, and that's the Lynx of Novi. It's a 27-hole upscale course. Originally, the Lynx of Novi, and now the Lynx of Novi Sing, because it was bought by the builder Sing. The original plan was to take out nine holes and build luxury homes, a strip of them, that 10 years later still hasn't been started. I find it's a pretty forgiving course as compared to, let's say, Northville Hills, which is an Arnold Palmer signature course. Last but not least, I can't do a family video without mentioning Paradise Park, which I've mentioned in several of my videos and will continue to because I love this place. This is a huge tank or amusement park right in the middle of Novi with a lot of outdoor and indoor activities that are, will keep your kids entertained and tied up for hours. They have an arcade, go-karts, laser tag, a balloon drop tower, a trampoline, bungee jumping, miniature golf, kitty carts, mini bowling, climbing wall, and a lot more. 
I advise getting their clothes to open because that wristband that you get is good for the entire day. So you can stay the entire day and really get your fill. You can also eat there because they've got a ton of food, including really good pizza, surprisingly enough. Now we also did a much more detailed video on our guide to Novi, which you can click on here to watch. We did a detailed video on Paradise Park itself, and there may or may not be a clip of me beating a 12 year old on a go-kart in that video. Actually, I'm totally kidding. There is definitely a clip of me beating a 12 year old in a go-kart in that video. And that is a wrap for this video. My name is Mike Perna, local real estate agent. If you're looking to get into a new home or if you have a home you want a no cost, no obligation, equity assessment on, give us a call anytime at 248-221-2777. If you haven't subscribed, do that. If you haven't hit the like button yet, do that. And I will catch you on the next video.